very quick video about the Asus Maximus 10 Hero motherboard and the Obsidian 450D case. Let's get straight on with it. Very, very short. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe. And the problem is it doesn't fit very well. The rear fan has to come out because the motherboard has this armor on it. The fan doesn't fit. Another big problem is that when you try and put the motherboard in, the rear plate is pre-mounted for ease. That doesn't fit either. And that's because it's got edges there which sort of fold in to allow a snug fit. Except that on the case, which we'll just have a look at now, on the case, there is a little lip there which sticks out. It's not on the other side, but it is on that side. So if you look where my finger is, I've tried to hold that behind it, I'm not sure it's helping. This isn't a complete square, it's got a bit cut out there and it's got a bit in there. And the pre-mounted back plate doesn't fit. So that the screw holes, that one, that one, and that one, don't line up. Uh, that's really annoying. But I'm gonna do some mods to the case with my Dremel and um, we'll see what happens then. Okay, I've done some Dremeling and the motherboard now fits in. Uh, let me show you what I did and what you shouldn't do. Um, it's not actually this edge that was the problem. I've actually cut, I got a bit carried away and I've cut too much off that. So there's a bit of a, a gap, about a millimetre gap in that corner. This bottom edge I needed to skim quite a bit to get the plate to actually fit through it slightly. It was this edge here that I needed to, I think I mentioned it's got a little bump on it in the first part of the video. I needed to skim that off because there's a little bent bit on the back plate and that's the bit that causes the problem. So you need to make sure that the actual overall size of the hole that you're going to put the motherboard back plate through is the same size as the back plate and make sure that there's enough room at that end so the springy bit can actually get in properly. Um, this comes from the fact that the um, connectors are all flush except on standard back plates they're actually a little bit further out because the plate is, also the plate is a bit springy as well. This is a quite a rigid plate. It's really quite annoying. Now you could take the take the um, back plate off. I've seen some um, posts where that's, people have done that, but that will invalidate the warranty, wouldn't it, surely? Because you're modifying it. You could loosen the, but all, all the fixes that don't involve making the hole bigger all involve fiddling with the motherboard itself. And it's an expensive motherboard and if you start removing things, then that's just an excuse to invalidate the warranty, isn't it? I suppose. And it's better to um, to drill the case than it is to, because the case is a bit cheaper. I mean, it's hundred pound case, but it's it's not a two hundred and fifty quid motherboard to, that that you want to break by um, you know fiddling with it. So uh, make sure the hole is big enough for the thing to fit through. You can measure it. I was a bit clumsy. So I put a bit of a gap in there. I'm not too bothered about that. It's around the back, I can't see it. It was this edge here that was the problem. You have to make sure the whole plate fits through and that there's enough room at that end so that when you put the thing in, the holes line up. So it's that end and the bottom edges that are gonna be where you need to focus on. And then it fits in and it all fits in perfectly. Um, if you found this video helpful, then uh, like and subscribe. This will apply to any of the Asus, or Asus um, Maximus series motherboards because they all have pre-installed backplates. Um, not just the Hero. This is the Hero because I don't like the armor. 
because if the Seymour's battery goes, taking the armor off is a nightmare because the battery's underneath the armor. So, and they're essentially the same anyway. Um, so, um, yeah. Any questions, stick them in the comments. And thanks for watching.